This is the lamp that Tony found at the Emma's shop in Bourges. And she's lovely. She's um, holding the globe which says America. And there's a book. She's not bronze, she's spelter. Obviously after a bronze and she's by August uh, Moreau. I can't see the... Ah. It is actually signed by August Moreau. She has a base. Tony's taken off of the base because she's trying to convert her into a lamp. I think she was a lamp. But she doesn't have the wiring at the moment. What he's got to do is cut off this piece on the top here and he's got to try and make a thread so he's going to drill and tap this piece at the top then he's going to shine the torch inside to see if it's possible to run the wire through the hollow figure and along the arm, inside the arm whether it's possible that it will come through into the torch part. If not, he's going to have to take a wire externally behind the statue. But this is what I was searching for, a glass lampshade at the the bigger mass. Anyway, I'm going to show you once he's put her back together. But she's beautiful. Oh, he paid 130 euros for this. Now this was a possible lampshade, but we've decided to go with a slightly different one, but you'll see that as we go along. And then we've adapted this piece from a different light fitting. Is it working out the way you hoped? Yeah. So what has that made a thread, has it? Yes. To attach the light fit into. Okay. okay. See the torch about. Um, so we're not having any luck with shining the torch down yet. And actually where Tony's drilled that out, you can see that the material is actually looks like brass. So we thought it was spelter. I don't think it's heavy enough for it all to be brass though, is it? I think it is, huh? Yeah. Gardening wire somewhere in there. Yeah. So is that only going a certain way down? Do you think it's solid? I'm trying to work out if there's a hole through from the in the lady's hand yeah it sounds a bit more solid there doesn't it mm. so the other option is to go on a surface well we did discuss whether to drill a hole where we couldn't see it very well and just bring the wire just up to this bit where are you going to get it down there i don't know can you can you drill it through here drill it through there yeah so you only see a little bit of the wire going in into where well, it, this is hollow, isn't it? The yes, arm. Yes. Yes. But is it hollow right to the hand? Don't know. Wouldn't have thought so. Right. Um. Okay. So that's probably not going to work that way. You don't think that it's hollow? No. It's not going down far enough, is it? No. How far is it? It's actually going down to about where the top of the hand is, isn't it? Well, they're not even as far as that. Oh, okay. So. So we're thinking that from that, that is that's probably that torch part is probably solid at the bottom. No, I'll wager that part. And that's been that's brazed on afterwards. No, I think it's all one cast. Oh, oh, you think it's been cast at the same time? Yeah, it's not been put on afterwards. Right. But the cast. But it not... would have probably collected together there anyway collected well the, the the metal when they've cast it yes that's all part of the same casting um, okay there's not a later addition no 
So. All right. The only other option. Now, is... saying that, because she's cast, you wouldn't be able to cut this piece and then replace it. Sorry? What I'm saying is, if you could take that torch out of her hand, yes. then you could drill it through. Yes. And then. You can't. Because it, right, because okay. It's, it was all, too much. It's all part of the same cast. So, it? now what are our other options then? No, the only other option is to run its surface. From where? From here. So, we're talking about having a cable all the way down behind her? Well, don't try and hide it. Well, um, you had the cable coming out the side. Yeah. There isn't any other way. Well, I mean, you're going to use that lovely gold twisted cable, aren't you? Yes. Which obviously is not a piece of plastic wire. The only other way is to drill a hole. Oh. Drill a hole out the back here. Hmm. You see, that's going to be more noticeable, isn't it? This is the trouble. If you start drilling her, it wouldn't crack, would it? No, of course not. But we don't really want a hole in her shoulder, do we? Down here, then. Well, we don't really want a hole there either, do we? We, we don't, don't want, want a hole, hole in, in her. Or in the back of this globe. Really? I think perhaps. If this is our only option, let's not drill a hole in her at all and just connect it to the torch up the top here. Right, here you are. Do you think? Yeah. Um, right, I'll come indoors then. How bright is that cord? Because it might be that if we got a darker cord, you wouldn't notice it so much. Because the one we normally have is quite goldy isn't it quite shiny yeah or do we have another option do they do that in uh, like a dark grey or a black I know we haven't actually got it uh, yes yeah, so that's even brighter um, yeah I'm not really liking either of those so if it has to be, then the darker one. The darker one is similar colour to the lampshade that we're using, isn't it? Yes. Decisions, decisions. As you can see, Tony's drilled a hole in the bottom of the torch. So that's where the wire's going. He's brought it inside now. But he can work on it. This is the wire that we've decided to go for. Um, it's the darker of the two that we actually had. And it's the fabric covered one. We use all of this. Um, well, yeah, it might as well. How long is it? Three metres, isn't it? Right, well then, will it straighten out a little bit? Oh, so, yeah, obviously from the top of that. Now, the only thing is, are we going to attach that at some point to the base? Because if your plug's a long way away, you're going to have a piece of cord and it's going to be going off in that direction, isn't it? Rather than from the base. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yes. I uh, where does this statue actually sit on the base? Yeah. So she's quite. Oh. We're trying to work out whether to attach the cord at the base before it goes off to a plug. I think that's a good idea. Right. Yeah, 
Yeah, so we couldn't attach it here, could we? No. Uh, maybe a little bracket or something? Or are you talking about actually drilling a hole through? How would we attach it? You drill a hole through there and you drill a hole through there. And sort of thread it through. I'll drill a hole straight through there and at the bottom. I mean, and this is a piece of way. wood, this base. This is made to look like a piece of marble, but it's actually a piece of wood. So that's doable, isn't it? Yep. Where that hole is. So, yeah, at what point are we going to do that? Because um, we don't want to see the wire too much, do we? So the wire can probably come down. Obviously, come down behind her shoulders and down behind her back. And then, what is that? Plant? <laughs> anyway, it could tuck behind that little bit there. So, probably the optimum point would be about here. Yeah? Sort of in line with this. Or. Yeah. Well, I think, yeah, if you drill a hole through and then it comes out of the side. Yeah. Okay. Have you got to take it back outside to do that, or yeah. just the base? Just Here, the base. Then, not where that woodworm hole is. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, the woodworm hole wouldn't matter, would it, if it comes? But it's more likely to come down. Yeah. Are you just going to leave it free flowing so that yeah. we can? Yeah. So it's not taut. No. It just holds it to the bottom of the actual plinth. I think that's a good idea. And then we have, so we actually have three metres of wire. She must be nearly a metre, mustn't she? How tall do you think she is, Tony? Sorry? How tall is she? Tony, we've got the lampshade on the top. So, Tony, got the lampshade on the top. She's not far off a metre, is she? Uh, About 800 mil? Something like that. What's that in English? It is English. Old money. <laughs> 800 mil, that's about two foot six. Yeah, something like yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. okay, right, Tony's back off to his workshop to make another hole. So you're attaching the little switch at the moment. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Here she is in all her glory. The shade gives an amazing effect. As you can see, amazing lighting effect. And she is beautiful. She's back to being used as a lamp once again. Now I'll just try and uh, zoom in for you on the signature there. That is Augustus Muro. Looks a little bit like the Statue of Liberty. Nut pose. I don't know if you can read that, but that says America on that globe there. But there she is, completed.
Well, now Christmas and New Year's over, we're going to crack on with some more projects. And in order that he can do that, Tony's making himself a new workbench as he's reorganising his workroom, his workshop. Uh, now we've had the barn roof done, he can now utilise this space in here as his proper workshop. Because we've been here now for over a year and he's never had a proper workshop. Now these benches were already here, so we're keeping those, but he's making himself a big workbench and then he's going to um, build himself some storage racking and make it a more usable workspace. He's already started, he's already been having to clear up because there was an awful lot of junk in here. There still is. I shall show you as he goes along what he's getting up to in here. Obviously, this is his first project we decided for the new year because if he sets himself up with all the equipment he needs and the space he needs out here, he can get on with a lot more stuff indoors. I'll make it a lot easier for him. Ah. What are you looking at? They're looking for some materials. Right, Tony's so using up the last of the big timbers that we had delivered, which he built my raised beds out of. That's going to be some huge bench, Tony. Yes. So you're trying to make a shelf underneath the bench as well? Stop it going sideways. Stop it going sideways, okay. I don't want to use another big lump of timber. But you don't want to use up the last pieces of timber here because that's for another project, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Um, what type of materials are you looking for? One of the old doors. Actually, you've got quite a few old doors in the old barn over there, haven't you? On the end barn, was there some doors? Wow. Right, well, Tony started by having a measure up and deciding what size he wanted to make his bench and then he's made himself a cutting list of which he's cut most of the pieces already. So he's just going to try and find something that he can use as a shelf underneath his bench. Yeah, he's very organised, isn't he? Cheap, isn't it? Beautiful. It's got a little bit of veneer missing off of the the keyhole. Bonjour. Bonjour. It's got another piece there. What's that piece for there? Vous avez passé uh, oh. Noël sans canapé. <laughs> but that on that lady is what we were looking for, wasn't it? No. The style of lampshade, and we will find one eventually. But we looked at her before, didn't we? Now she's she's got the wire yes. outside, yeah, same as we have. I do love her, but she's a lot of money. She's not signed by Morrow, is she? No. Is she signed? No, it's got a label on the bottom. That's nice. It says La Liberty by... I can't read it. Charles, what's that? Is that resin or is that... Yeah, I think it's resin. Oh, I like that clock. That's very smart, isn't it? That one in the middle. I prefer that one. I know, but it doesn't work. I've asked about that before. OK. 
Okay. This one at least has got the key stuck on the back of it. What do you think that is then? Plastic. Yeah. Well, it's quite heavy. Mm. Yeah, it's not old, is it? It's only six euros. Anyway, can you put her back? I like this cloth tone. I like this cloth here. Let me have a look. Does it have a price? You say this wasn't working or just, they just didn't have the key? They couldn't find the key. There's a key on the back of that one. Did you press it? Mm -hmm. I almost bought it for you once. <laughs> now you're going to find out if it works. Don't go mad. What? <laughs> Don't go mad. <laughs> it's got two, so it must have chimes, mustn't it? Yes. What are you trying to do? I've got to wind oh. it up. And if I wind it up, I'll come back this move, then I won't work. Oh, I see. No, it's not stopping, is it? I like the other one. Don't you like the other one? So, yes, the clock hasn't moved, and I can't hear any ticking. Hmm. What have you seen? Oh. Yes, that is rather striking, isn't it? I wonder if that's my um I can't read the name yet. It's faience. Is it's it? like this, almost it's like the Portuguese this. type pottery. Yeah. Has it got well, no, it's striking colours, isn't it? Isn't that's that beautiful, beautiful. on the windowsill with some plants in? Does that's that say yeah, that's <laughs> that's very quirky with its two birds of some description, swans I suppose, that make the handle. But this one is only twelve, is that twelve? Ten. Forty. It's forty. No, yeah, it doesn't look like a one, does it? Forty. No, oh, okay. It's obviously some name on it. Oh, yeah. Hmm. What do you think of those? What? Those wall plaque things. Um, well, they've done a fantastic job of marker tree, but... Yeah. How would you put them? I don't know, that's what I was just thinking. I quite like them. They probably look quite good in some bedroom somewhere. Yeah, maybe. Maybe on that um, big... Bedroom. What's up? I don't think they're old, are they? They're made to look old, I think. Ah. <laughs> oh, careful, Tony. Oh. Satellite in various different colours. I don't think it's any special name. Well, they're all pretty. 20 euros for 11 for all the different colours. Very beautiful. 15 euros for 12. That's four of each design. 
Look at this scalloped. Around the edges. Well, Limoges. They use your own. I don't know anything about the makers, but they're very, very fine. They look like good quality. Hmm. These are only resin candlesticks, but they would have been good for Christmas with the little cherubs on them. <laughs> I can't see a price. Ah. 10 euros for the three. They would have been perfect for Christmas dinner table. I'm going to get late now. All these figures. These are all the local costumes. Someone's handmade all those. If I... Yeah. If I take a picture of it and go and ask the lady how much it is, okay. what I'm saying is, what's the sell it to us now price? And are we going to be able to get it, would it go in the back of the trailer? Yes, it Without would. getting broken? Yes, it would. Okay. I can hear noises. I think must have started putting his bench together. <clears throat> yes, he's got things clamped together here. Ah, I can see bolts. Ah, let's go and see what he's up to. Look, I can see that's definitely part of a bench. What are you up to? Oh, sorry, did I make you jump? <laughs> what are you up to? Well, I found some bit of 10 mil bar. Ah, so you're cutting down some bar to make some bolts? Yeah. Oh, I see. Uh, not to make some bolts. Yeah. Yeah. To make some bolts. So you're putting your workbench together first before you do anything else? Yes. Okay. Right, I could use a hand indoors now with moving things around okay. so that we can get the new sofa in. Yeah. Okay. One half of your bench, you see? Yeah, I saw that. That looks smart. Looks super strong. Yes. So, what did you decide to use to put on the bottom now? I don't know. You still haven't decided before. yet. No. Okay. Well, you're going to assemble it all first. Could you use the cable? Uh, maybe. Until you found something, just to strengthen it. You said you got cable, didn't you? Got what? Cable. You know the torque, the wire. Oh no, I should use tin. Well, you use timber, okay. So what are you doing here? Just marking your, drilling your holes out for your bolts? Your bolt, yeah. Ah, so this is as uh, exact same as what you've already made? Yes. Over there. So this is the other end. So, would you like a cup of tea? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, 
Run that battery. Yeah. Put your fingers in your ears, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Ow! So how did you how did you know how to design this? You've made workbenches before. Yeah. But what I'm saying is how do you know what size pieces you've got to have to hold it all together? You see what you've got timber wise. Yeah. So you've measured how high you want it, obviously to yeah. see how high that's you want the, the legs. Yeah, that's the only and then as long as you're um, connecting the pieces all the way around, yes. it's not gonna spread. So, when you put this top together, yeah. do you screw the planks together sideways to make it like one big table? Yeah, that way. Yeah. I don't know. Why would you put a piece of wood on each end to hold it all flat? What I'm saying is they're all separate. Yeah. So how do you join these to make it like a table? Do you glue it and clamp it, or screw it down here? So you just screw each piece on the end. On the two ends yes. okay I'm just yeah obviously I'm not very good at carpentry or designing things I'm just trying to get my head around how it all works yeah. I see so it's gonna be it's gonna look a little bit like a giant version of our picnic table but without the seats yeah, <laughs> But well, they have crossover legs, don't they? Yeah. So, are the, is it stronger this way? Oh, it's very short. It's stronger than the crossover legs on the picnic table. Yes. Right. Well, I'm going to make us a cup of tea, then you can come and help me for a little while, yeah? Okay. okay. And this is what I need help with because I'm rearranging the furniture in the lounge because we've bought a sofa and an armchair, a more comfortable one than one we've got. So um, we bought it some time ago at the Brock Hunt, but um, they couldn't deliver it for a long time. So we went, we went in the trailer yesterday and collected it. And we also bought a stove, which I'll show you where Tony's put that. That was an absolute bargain. Oh, it's in here for the time being. It needs a clean up. Tony's oiled it up already. It's a Godan. She's a very good make. It can burn charcoal or wood. And it's going to eventually live in this huge fireplace in this room here. which is the extension part of the sheet, or sheet number two. I'm not sure yet. Anyway, but that was a perfect, that was a beautiful purchase. We paid 150 euros for that. And we've looked up online and we've seen them for about 2,500 pounds, 2,400 pounds. Um, and this one's hardly been used. So I think we got an absolute bargain. It's lovely. We looked at it once before, and when it when we went back, it was still there, and we had the trailer, and it just sort of clicked. Yes, one day I will show you this in situ, <laughs> a light, but I think that's going to be way off yet. <laughs> Is that a good game, Tony? Oh, they've cleared all the shelves. Maybe they've moved him. Maybe. Well, I haven't seen him anywhere, but that doesn't mean... 
Why would they clean all these shelves?